Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be going back to my roots with an Audi S3 8L, looking at what color MFA is. I want this video to be a color MFA beginner's guide. I do get a lot of questions asking what is color MFA? What can you see? How do you use it? And also what extra features are there alongside the diagnostics? So in this video, that's what we'll be looking at in a real live situation with one of my clients and his first use of Color MFA. So what is Color MFA? It's basically a huge upgrade to your dashboard where you'll be able to see a thousand times more functions on the display screen. So let's jump into some real world usage here. Yeah. So, Basically, uh, I think the um, software is wrong, but that's all right. We can change that. I can help you change that later because you've we've got the USB Ah, uh, you've had that error before. Ah, uh, okay. That's cool. So using your controls What's it having to fit in? Yep. All right, so back, how do I go back? So press the underneath button, which is like enter Local yep. Level, I have none. Yep, it's what just going to scroll good. through all the errors until it gets to the end. Break so <laughs> it's not connected, it's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> errors are it. okay. It's red errors that are like, stop the car now, don't drive. So, to scroll through the different displays on the front, yep. just use your up and down arrow Which and one? you'll see, yep, you'll see it scroll through all the different like display options. You got your digital speedo there that'll come up in a second as one of them as well so there's heaps that's so much better inlet cam, oil cam and because your car is modded you want to be able to see all this stuff right? yeah that's why that's I have really, really my good. gauges as well suck all the gauges down around the bin fuel consumption, current yep. speed that's it so you can set that to whatever, but then see all the little icons in the bottom left yep. and the bottom right. You can cu you can customize those as well, as add extra two icons on the top left and the top right corner and of the screen. Yeah. So to get into your menus, you press the underneath button, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I reckon first go diagnostic. So this is your diagnostics menu is basically like VCDS, but you don't need your computer. Um, engine, probably gonna have a billion fault codes because you have a lot of things. So yeah, you can go down into read faults. Yep. Uh, actually, yeah, up. Yep. Yep, and then down. Yep, that's it. So it's super easy. It's like once you play with it for 10 seconds, you know exactly how it's gonna work. Yep. And that's all your errors. And then see how it's got the codes. Yep. You can enter into one of them and it'll tell you exactly what's going on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you're ready, you can probably just go and clear it all. And then that'll get rid of them once all those things are up. <laughs> yeah, so you just like, um, back. And if there's more than one page, you can just keep going down and it'll scroll through them. But I don't think there's any more than that. Yep. Yeah, that's it. So head back. I reckon first clear all the cluster errors. So. So go back. Yep. And then you can go up instead of going the long way if up. you wanted to. Okay. But yep. you can always go up. And then yeah, back again. Back. Yep. And then, and then go down. diagnostic. Yep. And then choose that. Okay. Yeah. And then you choose your instrument cluster 17 module. Yep read faults and there's going to be all these faults in there because it was disconnected before yeah. and then you can clear all those so and that'll get rid of it no, yep and you can just do that with every single module Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, and then I guess with other little things, go to the measure option. 
Yep. With board comp one and board comp two, click into it and it gives you like a really nice summary of different things. Ooh, okay. You can um, customize all of those things as well. And that's like what's in the memory of those different values. Are they summary. Constantly or are they updated in like a summary? I think when you view them, that's when it updates. Um, I forget, I haven't used this in such a long time. Yeah. And then summary, you can also customize what's in summary as well, but it's all valuable engine info yeah, in one. In and that's live. Oh, that's so when your car's running, all that's jumping around. It's really, really good. So like when I was doing third gear pulls, I'd have it on that page just so I know exactly what's going on and yeah, I know the car's not f***ing out. Yeah. You can see all the, especially like oil temp and things like that. Yeah. Can you get oil pressure as well? Is that not a normal... Uh, that's no, normal? that's not a normal sensor, but I'm pretty sure it's something you can add. Oil level, I like to use that around the track. <laughs> yeah, that's handy. So, yeah, you can see straight away if you've got no oil. That's handy. I can think of many times where that would be the case. <laughs> or if your car's too dumped and you're worried of hitting a rock or a speed bump. Done that. Leave it there. Twice, so. <laughs> so you know, fuck your engine. Talk. I think that's like a calculated value. Oh, okay. And then same with accelerate. So that measures. I'm pretty sure zero to one hundred, and it gives you your Ooh, time. Okay. Yeah. And then go back. Settings have a play around, but you've got all that stuff, boring stuff. To change the look. I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, design. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Background. You can change your backgrounds. Is that something that you can upload and customize a background to as mm, well? As far as I know, not not yet. And then your main screen, so you can change this around. Um, see how it says icons up the top, yep. and it's got like a checkbox or not checkbox. Yep. So if you put a check in it. It gives you the icons for those values. Yep. Um, I like that. Yeah. And then with audio data, if you have the original stereo, that's going to stream the audio data from the original stereo in. If not, just turn off. Yeah, which I don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've seen with a cluster of wires. So, yeah, no. Big speed's good if you like a big digital speedo. Not a person for it. Yeah. And then, see these little icons? So they would be there were the icons in the top, top left, top right. Oh, yeah. And then the other four icons down the bottom, they'd be the icons in the bottom left, bottom right. Yeah. You can change all of those to whatever you want them what to be. can that be? Um, that's always going to be your gear, or you can turn it off. Can it automatically calculate what gear I'm in by driving? Mm -hmm. It'll always tell you what gear you're in. You might need to do some calibration, but it, it'll tell you what gear you're in. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that idea. Yeah. It's really good. So if you want to change so those values in the corners, change it, you then hit that one. Yep. And then you can. Yep. Yeah, super easy. You just. It's really intuitive. Like you can change it to any of those and values that you see on there. Sure. Leaders, yep. You can change that if you really want to, but don't know why you want to, unless you're in the UK yeah. <laughs> or USA. Um, and then effects, so that's just, you know, on this home screen, how it kind of was just changing. Yep. You can have it slide, you can have it fade, or you can have it just change. So to see that go back, 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 all the way back. And then it'll fade instead of it sliding across like you're flicking your phone screen. I like that a lot better. Right, sorry. Fine. Yeah, settings. Uh, settings and then we were, no, were we? Design. Design. Um, Start logo. So that's where you can choose uh, the, the splash screen. Yep. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's any in there that are animated from the box. I'm yeah. Use image not loaded. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be that user image where you upload your animated one. Oh, I see. Yep. Backlight is backlight. It's always, I always just leave it automatic unless you want oh, it always bright. Yep. How does it work that out? 
Uh, so you can do, oh, there's a little sensor. See that little dot there? Oh, I That's see. your light yeah. sensor. Or you can do a manual. So you put the checkbox on yeah. manual and then you just increase well, or decrease the brightness. That's so bright. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't have to do something, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, and then they're just the warning icons, whether or not you want them flashing, you want it solid, you want them to flash when you start the car up for 4 seconds, 10 seconds, 8 seconds, whatever. And then menu timeout is... is how long you just idle in the menu for, I assume? Yep, and then it'll take you, kick you back to the home screen. So this is how, the message timeout is how long it stays when a message comes up what it is and then it'll just go little icon in that little yep. bottom row bottom corner. that you can, that you can yep. see already yeah back nice. and then you've got messages so they're your error messages that oh, all so the ones that you just, just saw if you want to cycle through yeah and then system so this is where you can see really weird stuff uh, units is changing the, what's it called? The measurement of units, yeah. um, fine, temperature and all that stuff. That's fine. Uh, can monitor, that's when you can watch what's going on in the can, motor can and comfort can. It looks like the matrix. Like if you click, put a checkbox next yeah. to that and then watch it, that all changes when you're driving. It's probably changing a little bit now, but that's, yeah. all, that's all the you data. A bunch of them. It's like the code. Okay, let's uncheck It's that. the matrix. Let's go back. I call it the matrix. And then screensavers is like a really strange, it's like this weird thing. It looks like Windows 97. <laughs> 2013 apparently. <laughs> and then motor info, that's just uh, yep. ECU info. Oh, okay, that's just what it sees as... Like the motor. Change or... Yeah, I mean, if you've got a six-cylinder in there, it'll change for a six-cylinder information. Okay. And then firmware, this is where you can upload updated firmware. So basically yeah. you go into flashing mode and then you hook it up to your computer and so you use the program mode. to yeah. upload a new firmware. I've seen. Back. Service. Service, that sets your service history. Reminder. Oh, okay. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, so you can set that wherever. How do you then set the... Ah, oh, I see. So, for example, if I wanted it every 3,000... Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. So that'll remind you every 3,000. Simply. Yeah. And then digging into advanced measuring blocks. So you can get back. into them, yeah, through diagnostic. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then go choose engine. So click into that. Yep, go all the way up. And then measuring blocks. Yep. So have you used measuring blocks in BCDS before? Yeah. So this is going to show you all of that stuff is in real time on the screen. Is it the same speed as BCDS or quick up because it's direct connect? It's pretty quick. So yeah, you can scroll through all the measuring blocks, click, yeah, and then just go ahead and change that value and it'll give you all of the information. And the nice thing that you can do, like especially when you're trying to log a boost, and you, can, you want like a um, line graph of requested versus actual, you can graph it and it comes up with a line graph in there. Oh, physically, to see what it, like that. Yeah. And you basically, so I know it's oh. measuring block 115, so head, if you hold your finger down on the up arrow, it'll scroll through real quick. Yeah. And then 115, one is uh, actual and then one's request. So yeah, click into it and That's then. Request, I assume. Yeah, and, and then go. graph it. Uh, can you click into the millibars? Yep. 
Uh, so you select what you want okay. first, I select it and, and then you graph, graph it. And then that'll line graph live what's going on, and you can see what's requested, That's what's actual in front of your face. <laughs> So yeah, you can really see if like it's performing well or not, and you can do that with all the measuring. Stop it and then re-go again. Yep. That's smart. Yeah, I really, really like that for logging. When you're tuning the car. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, you can just dig into any other menu, play around with it, change things around to what you want them to be. Yeah, and just just get to know it. So there's your beginner's guide to color MFA and I hope it's helped to answer your questions on what it is and what it can do for you. If you liked my video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have more questions, there's the link to my Facebook page where you can ask me more. In the meantime, please enjoy my other videos and we'll see you soon.